Uh, first of all, I'd like to say I see you going real hard with telling people to register to vote. I've been watching you on Twitter. Yeah, um, I mean, you know, registering to vote and voting is something serious, you know, regardless. You know, a lot of people, well, a lot of, I think a lot of young people need to start getting into it, you know, registering voting. You know, people be talking about they want to change this and change that. And it, and it starts with them vote. you know what I'm saying? And so I think right now, just like, we need to get the youth to vote more. We need to get these um, teens and everybody, to, well, 18, you know, to vote more. Just get more younger to have to vote more. You know what I mean? So, see, I've been posting on Twitter and everything. I just became a, one of the spokespersons for the Respect My Vote campaign. So, you know, I'm just trying to um, get it out there and get more people to go and get down and, and um, vote. Yeah, that's a good look right there because, you know, it was a fad of four years ago to get Obama in. But, you know, we got him in, so you know it's, we're not going to get the same votes like we did that year. So we definitely need people like you out there pushing it. Definitely, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to keep pushing it. You might as well just look forward to me just pushing it and trying to get people to vote. So you dig? That's right. All right, Changi, can you give... The people that don't know who you are, a brief bio of yourself? Um, brief bio of myself. Howard Chingy Bailey, um, you know, grew up in North St. Louis City from an area called Walnut Park. Um, you know, got three brothers, three sisters. Okay. Love music, started writing my own music when I was like seven, eight years old. Okay. You know, just... Just, just always had a passion for music. Um, 12 years old, I started doing shows and stuff around the city, out of town. 15, 16 years old, I, uh, I was with a group called Without Warning. I put my first local CD out. Um, kept pushing, just kept pushing. Um, I was in a group called Three Strikes. Prior to, I mean, well, after that, like around 2000, in which we... Uh, we uh, opened up some shows for Nelly and St. Lunatics. Uh-huh. And um, right after I got out of the group, that's when I went solo, and that's when I got my major deal. And so, you know, just to be brief, that's a little... That was little, brief. Uh, I mean, I got to know the family and everybody. That was brief. <laughs> that, was, that was good, right? That was a good one. So, where have you been hiding, though? You just, I know you popped back on the scene now with your new mixtape, but where have you been hiding before the mixtape? Where have I been hiding before the mixtape? I, I really ain't, I really ain't been hiding nowhere. Just, just dealing with, dealing with my personal life and, and like, just a lot have been going on with, you know, tragedies in my family, deaths in the family, um, friends passing. I, it just, uh, I had a lot of people pass, and that. That can affect your life, you know. That it affected my life. That can affect you in a major way. But um, like after my fourth album, Hate It or Love It, you know, a lot of stuff just was going on. This was back in 07, 08. and um, I just kind of was. I, I I actually got sick of music. I just I didn't want to be. I didn't want to be in the light no more. I just was kind of bothered by a lot of stuff that was going on around me, and I just wasn't paying attention. To music. I mean, I always, I always been, I always record. It's a passion of mine, so I always record and stuff. But I just, I, I just kind of got tired of um, it just, just, just being out there. I was dealing with a lot of different things in my life that was, uh, you know, taking a toll on me, bothering me. But you know, you life goes on. That's true. So, and now we heard, you know, Jackpot back got the mixtape, you know. So that's that's how we rocking right now. But, you know, just dealing with, and also just dealing with getting out of contracts, dealing with the business part of the um, the business, the industry, mm-hmm. and, you know, just, just different stuff like that. But Jackpot Back, you can download that off thatsip.com, fulltech.com with two Ks. So, you know, Jackpot Back. But We know Jackpot Back, baby. We're going to make sure we get that when we hang up the phone. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm a I got my girl Richmond Black in here. She tweeting it for you. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? What's up with you? So look, what label are you currently signed to? Right now, I'm it's, I'm actually my independent label, Full Deck. Okay. But I'm talking. You know, I was with Capitol Records um, years ago, yeah. and I'm actually talking. We're we're talking about doing some again right now, and um, you know. I'm, 
Capital and, uh, Records? Talking with, yeah, Capital Records. Okay. Yeah, so we talking about doing some things. I mean, talking to a couple of people about doing some things, just trying to find out, you know, the right situation. Well, you know I've been nosy, right? So I, I, I go looking in interviews that you did, right? And I see uh-huh. that you mentioned that you were talking to L.A. Reid about getting yeah. signed to his new label. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you know, talking to a few people, but... We'll see. We'll see the outcome. We'll see what happens. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So I can't. I can't really say right now. Like, yeah, I'm signing to this person or nothing. But you know, talking to a few people and um, it's looking good. So we'll see what happens. Well, I wish you much luck on that. Um, I appreciate. It. Now, as we were talking about Jackpot's back, the mixtape. Mm-hmm. How many downloads have you gotten so far? Are you watching it? I actually don't. I, I actually don't know exactly how many downloads it is. Yeah. I know it's a lot. I, I don't know. I want to say I, I don't know. I, I don't know exactly how many it is. I can't even say. Well, you I, know what? I'm getting good. I just dropped the P show mixtape. I got like. Oh really? Yeah, I'm about a thousand in. I ain't getting nothing but a thousand um downloads. That's big to me, though. A thousand is better. A thousand is better than nine. Yeah, I mean, it was big to me. Yeah, so, I mean, you'll get more, though. It ain't nothing. (laughs) You can say that. You can say that. You've been on a major label before. You can say that. You out there, you know. I mean. You had the hottest song, man. You got to grind. You right. Grind to get where you want to get. So, you know, just continue to grind and continue to work hard, and it'll pay off. Thank you so much for that motivation. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, so, so look what are you currently working on besides pushing jackpots back what else do you have going on right now actually you, if you go on YouTube I got this movie trailer this movie I did a couple years ago that the uh, trailer is out now you can check it out it's called Polish Bar okay and I play I play I play a uh, club owner slash drug dealer in, in the movie so check it out Polish Bar so go make sure you, everybody check that out Polish um, Bar I'm gonna make sure I check that out we gonna retweet it for you right now we just we just saying it on your we, we twatching you right now <laughs> okay then alright retweet that Polish yeah. Bar that's the movie alright so do you have so look I go ahead uh, you, you go ahead you know I'm going to talk with you. Right. I'm happy to be on the phone with you. What you doing? Oh, okay, that's what's up. Well, now, what I was going to say was I'm working on um, a couple records right now. And um, one, I'm possibly, you know, we're just debating on which record to go with for a single. Okay. So I just did, I just did this record called She Thick. Mm. It's hot, though. It's hot. Uh-oh. It's hot, though. It's, it's, it's a thick. nice club jam. I mean, it, it puts you in the frame of in the frame of right there. It's not like right there, but okay. it just puts you in the frame of that that that, that um just that party vibe atmosphere of the song with the beat. The beat is knocking, and you know the flow is is nice. So um, it's gonna it's gonna be a dope record, and um, okay. just kind of like debating which way we want to go for as a single. So right now, that's I'm, I'm currently currently trying to figure that out while just just recording, being in the studio making. Making records and figuring which direction I want to go with, with with my project. Okay, so and you know touring, always on the road doing shows, touring and just and just you know performing and everything. I love performing, so just grind. Okay, you a worker, man. You go hard. Yeah, I definitely work hard. We can't keep up with you. You can, you can. Just reach out to me every night at the end of the night. I will. I'm make. I'm. Hold on. Now, matter of fact, you already follow me. I can't tell you to follow me. You follow both of my accounts, so that was really nice of you. Okay. Yeah. See, I like celebrities that don't mind talking to their fans or don't mind tweeting back to them when they ask questions or following them if they ask you to follow them. I mean, I love that. Uh huh. Well, you know, you know what's funny to me about. Twitter and some, and some people like like if I just follow somebody people like why you follow them you just follow anybody it, it's not it's not the same effect of following anybody that's what it's for exactly like you I know <laughs> so you know I try to reach out I'm just a humble guy like that you know what I'm saying so it's all good okay do you have any upcoming shows or events going on right now um Friday I'm gonna be in Washington Pullman Washington or something like that <laughs> uh, we should we uh actually Preparing this, I'm a, at some point I'm gonna be going to China, Australia, um, Europe, 
Like, we're trying to get these tours going over there. I need, you, I need you to come oh, to Virginia. Coming up. When are you coming to Virginia? What you doing? What's up? Virginia. We got, we got to get to Virginia. I haven't actually been to Virginia in a while. Yeah, uh, we in Richmond, VA. We're going to try to make something happen to get to Virginia. All right. So, look. Virginia got, Virginia got some nice women down there. Man. You don't yes. know? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, 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 I'm going to have to tweet you a picture of my birthday party because we had some fly women up in there this yes. weekend. My birthday was Monday. Oh, tweet, tweet me the picture. Let me check it out. I, oh, I am. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> so, look, before before I let you go, Chingy, every week on my show we have a topic of the day, and I want you to chime in on the topic for me. Okay. All right. So this week's topic is child support. Do you think the judge should require the parent receiving child support to provide a monthly statement showing how the funds are being used? Um, I'm, I'm not, I'm not against that. I'm not mad at that. You know, for the person that's receiving the child support, because we want to know if the child is really getting to care of the money. <laughs> Y'all nosy. That's why. <laughs> Men are nosy. Men are nosy. Because you can you can be cha- you can be paying child support, and I know this well. You can be paying child support, and 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 the person can be going and spending it on themselves, and not even really taking care of the baby with it. They might go get go get the baby a pair of shoes. They might go get the the baby, you know, what I'm saying uh, some pampers. But uh-huh. are you really spending that money on the child? I, I guarantee you, if if it does pass something like that. I guarantee you that when you look at the statement, it's going to have probably more stuff for the parents than the child. But you got to think about it. If the mother is providing the home, it feels... So this is the thing with fathers. Y'all feel like, I shouldn't have to pay your rent. I shouldn't have to pay your water. You know, that's how y'all think. You know, I can't really say that because I have paid my um, son's mother's rent. Like I'm not against doing anything for, for... my child's mother nor my child but yeah. it comes a point when if this child is getting child support i just believe that you know what I'm saying you need to be looking out more for the child with that money than yes. yourself and when i say yourself you can pay some bills ain't nothing wrong with that yeah this don't get this don't get out of hand if i want to get you outfits for the club right. yeah bills <laughs> and all of that that's all i'm saying I agree. Yeah, you know, you got to get the hair done, nails done. No, not on child support money, you don't. She <laughs> get that with her money. She get that with her money. Yeah. But see, that's the thing. Listen, it all go into one account. You don't know what, what's going well. No, you got a separate account. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, the child, I, the child support should be going in a whole other account by itself. All right. Well, I definitely appreciate, appreciate your <laughs> feedback on that. Hilarious. But so Saturday, you gotta tell all your fans to listen to the P Show, and you can log on to the P Show dot com at three o'clock every Saturday. Okay, Saturday, log on to the P Show at three o'clock. Yep, the P Show dot com every Saturday, Chingy. Every Saturday, log on to the P Show dot com every Saturday. I <laughs> That's a look. It don't matter because I'm gonna tweet it to you anyway. I'm gonna remind you. Yeah, and I'm gonna retweet it. I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, that's what. That's how I do, Jimmy. That's. I mean, I grind. You told me to grind, so I'm gonna make sure I grind. I want to make sure you see my grind. So. Oh no, it's all yeah. right. I'm gonna see it. All right. So tell tell us how um people can get in contact with you. Download your music. Give us a rundown real quick. Okay. Well, hit me up on Twitter first of all at Chingy Jackpot at Chingy Jackpot. Hit me up on Twitter. You also can hit me up. Hit me up through the Full Deck site, um, fulldeck.com, fulldeck, D-E-A-K, fulldeck.com. You can hit me up at chingydaily.com as well. And you can get in touch with me through jp at fulldeck.com. All right. Well, I definitely appreciate it. I mean, jp at full, oh, I'm tripping, jp fulldeck at gmail.com. My fault. Hold on. JP, huh? look, we're going to run it back for you. <laughs> JP, full day at gmail.com. Hey, full day at gmail, yep. Yep, two Ks. Can't forget the two Ks. Two Ks. Can't forget the two Ks. <laughs> <laughs> e- 
I love the country, that country swag in the voice. I know, right? You, you like that? I like that. You sure you're not in North Carolina? Oh, my God. Uh-uh, yeah, I like that St. Louis, huh? Yeah, we yeah, like that. We like that. Yeah, I like, yeah, I like y'all a little St. Louis. <laughs> <laughs> Don't act like that. You got wind in here, bless you. But I really appreciate you calling the P show. And again, you know, I'm gonna make sure I tweet it out, and I'm gonna let you know. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep you posted on everything. You just, you just support me, and I'm gonna support you. Uh, no problem. We I, gotta support I, each other. So it's all good. And I'm gonna make sure I put hey, your tweets you about both. Let me, uh, let me know. I'm gonna always holler at you. I'm gonna make sure I stay in touch, Trink. Okay, bet it's all good. I'm right here. I love the way you do that right, right there. there. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I just had to. Time. And I did a dance when I said it. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Chingy. All right, y'all. I appreciate it. All right. I'll let y'all. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, peace.